ओके हेलो एवरीवन ओके चलो ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद सीआरएम दैट इज कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट और द इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट ऑफ सीआरएम इज ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड ओके मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द पार्ट इज कंप्लीटेड ओनली टू पार्ट्स आर लेफ्ट द फर्स्ट टाइप इज गोइंग द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज गोइंग टू बी टाइप्स ऑफ सीआरएम ओके लेट्स कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम टुमारो वेयर वी हैव लेफ्ट यस व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सीआरएम एज डिस्कस यस्टरडे there were three types of crm okay the first one was the strategic crm okay the second one was the operational crm and the third one was the analytical crm okay analytical crm is something which is 100% automated concept okay that is the reason why small companies cannot adopt analytical crm because it is completely automated it means huge amount of expenditure will be required here Here, all the analysis that is being done is being done with the help of an automation. Okay. Now, next comes is the operational CRM. Operational CRM is partial automation. Okay, it's not hundred percent automation. It's a partial automation where there is a proper interaction with the customer in terms of you know selling them, marketing them, or after sales services or whatever customer needs. And the first one is the strategic CRM. strategic crm from the word strategy itself we understand it is something which is done at the managerial level okay it will be done at the highest level that is you know de defining the leadership needed or designing a system or designing a process rules regulation that is the strategic crm okay now let's start with the first point the first one is the strategic crm as discussed strategic crm is something which is a managerial concept okay it is one of the managerial concept not at the lower level this part is being done by the top level management and the main purpose is what attracting new customer or retaining the old customer in crm in each and every answer you can write this point that why are we doing crm because we want to attract new customer and because we want to retain the old customer and for this the main issue in development of a customer centric business is leadership behavior and the design of the formula so if you re, if we want to revise strategic crm there are only four words that are important first one is the managerial concept managerial concept managerial concept kya dhyan deta hai new customer se attract karna hai old customer se kya karna hai retain karna hai लेकिन जब आप कस्टमर सेंट्रिक सीआरएम पे काम कर रहे हो टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स टू बी टेकन केयर इज वन इज द लीडरशिप यू नीड अ प्रॉपर लीडरशिप बिहेवियर फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ अचीविंग द टारगेट प्लस द प्रोसेस द रूल्स द रेगुलेशन द डिजाइन ऑफ द सिस्टम ओके सिस्टम इज द वर्किंग सिस्टम इन योर कंपनी शुड बी वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट दैट सेकेंड ऑपरेशनल सीआरएम वन वर्ड जो हम लिखेंगे दैट इज इट इज पार्शियल ऑटोमेशन ऑपरेशनल मतलब हम ऑपरेशनल लेवल पे जाके कस्टमर्स के साथ इंटरेक्ट करते हैं कैसे ओके वी माइट सेल देम अ फ्री गुडी वी माइट गिव देम आफ्टर सेल सर्विस वी माइट गिव देम अ मार्केटिंग एडवर्टीजमेंट विच विल मेक देम हैप्पी और वी विल सेल देम डोर टू डोर सर्विस दैट इज द ऑपरेशनल सीआर दस वॉट इज दिस दिस इज अ पार्शियल ऑटोमेशन डेफिनेटली वेर वी आर इंटरेक्टिंग विद द कस्टमर हाउ कैन अ पर्सन इंटरेक्ट विद कस्टमर इन द सीआर that is via selling the product or via indirect marketing on a television or after sale service that's it. okay these are the points for the operational crm okay now a few list has been given like marketing kaise kar sakte hain to hum jaise ki campaigning kar sakte hain okay hum campaigning kar sakte hain koi product ka koi product ke specific event rakh sakte hain we can have a contract management we can teach, teach teach them product configuration if it's an automated product okay multiple examples are considered and the last part is the analytical crm one word for analytical crm will be that it is a completely technological driven concept. analytical crm after the advent of it he aaya tha okay once it aaya it got established in business only then an analytical crm could come एनालिटिकल सीआरएम क्या करेगा अगेन योर आंसर शुड बी व्हाट योर आंसर शुड बी कस्टमर सेंट्रिक तो यहां पे वो कोशिश करेगा योर ही विल ट्राई टू ऐड वैल्यू टू दी कस्टमर एंड दिस इज ओनली पॉसिबल फॉर द लार्जर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज यूज अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर इज इनकर्ड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ गोइंग हंड्रेड परसेंट टेक्निकल दैट इज सो योर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द मार्केट 
we are going to capture the information from the market we are going to analyze the information we are going to make a centralized database where the entire data relating to the customer is stored so that whatever analysis is being done we are adding value to the customer okay let's revise kya likha hai sabse pehli baat to all the data relating to the customer will be what will be captured from the market we will decide which customers data we need to capture then we will actually extract the data and we will store the data in the central data set so first we are going to do what first we are going to capture the data after capturing the data we will extract the data in whatever format we need extraction can be done in excel form in word form in whatever form we need and then it will be stored in in a the, the complete data will be stored in the central data set why are we doing this the answer for this b plus will be this is being done for the purpose of enhancing customer value that so that is the basic purpose of doing this now for the purpose of storing a data for so one a database center is being made which is very very expensive a repository is created which stores purchase sales data financial data marketing data which is retrieved according Now, repository का मतलब क्या होता है रिपोजिटरी मीन प्लेस वेर वी विल स्टोर द डेटा ओके दस अ प्रॉपर रिपोजिटरी विल बी क्रिएटेड वेर द परचेज डेटा द सेल्स डेटा द फाइनेंशियल डेटा द मार्केटिंग डेटा विल बी स्टोर एंड एज एंड वेन द डेटा इज नीडेड एज फॉर द रिक्वायरमेंट द डेटा विल बी पुल्ड आउट सो रिट्राइव मीन्स वॉट द डेटा विल बी अकॉर्डिंगली पुल्ड आउट सो दीज आर द्री टाइप ऑफ पी आर एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आर ओके नाउ ऑलवेज रिमेंबर पी आर एम आने से पहले ही ओके बिफोर सी आर एम कुड कम देर वॉज अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इन दी मार्क ओके सी आर एम हैज कम बिकॉज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी सो दे द आई टी दे आर कंसिडरिंग दिस आई टी वर्ड एज वॉट एज बिग डेटा दे आर कॉलिंग इट वॉट बिग डेटा बिग डेटा मीन्स वॉट वेर विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दी आई टी वर एबल टू स्टोर अ ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ इंटरनेट so in this paragraph they are just telling that the emergence of big data is one of the most important concept in the business in why okay the big data when it got coupled with the it it became a novelty okay so big data jab hum store kar paaye with the help of it we could do it more properly it was one of the best thing thus the big data is something but whenever in it the data is stored it's not necessary that the data has to be in structured form okay even in unstructured form we can store data so what is big data big data is structured data plus unstructured data so yahan pe aisa likha gaya hai ki big data extends beyond the structured data including unstructured data also in the form of anything it can be in the form of text in the form of audio in the form of video in the form of small clips anything because it can unable to convert it in whatever format we use and thus with the advent of big data and business data analytical crm gained superior strategic importance okay initially crm karna was a very big task because gaining the information of the entire market and storing the information of the entire market was becoming a task so they are telling you one big data team and big data got coupled with it it became one of the best things we could analyze the data in a very good form and therefore crm could become a strategic analytical tool always remember big data is something which is storing the structured data as well as it is storing the unstructured data now there are various models of crm defined by various english uh, strategic people okay the first model is the idc model okay every model is this one one paragraph okay id i c that is identify d is differentiate i is interact and c is custom i means what identify a customer and then you are supposed to have a deep understanding of them differentiate in the sense what form of value each customer needs each customer will have a different requirement so we need to differentiate we need to identify that what customer will give us the highest amount of the value c is what i the next is what i we need to interact with the customer in the form of the customer what are the expectation understand the expectation and accordingly customize the product and we are supposed to give so the first point is identify is who your customer is 
हु के बाद डेवलप एंड बिल्ड अ डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट डेथ इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंशिएट डिफरेंशिएट अ कस्टमर टू आइडेंटिफाई व्हिच कस्टमर विल हैव द मोस्ट वैल्यू नाउ एंड व्हिच विल ऑफर द मोस्ट वैल्यू इन द फ्यूचर वी नीड टू डिस्टिंग्विश कि करंट प्रेजेंट कस्टमर सबसे हाईएस्ट वैल्यू व्हिच कस्टमर इज गिविंग and which customer in long run like after 10 years also we give me a value we need to identify those of our customers so that our business can survive for a longer duration of time interact with the customer to understand why are we supposed to interact the basic point will be to have a, to understand the customer's expectation kya hai and to build a proper relationship with them and the last point is the customize that is to offer them the product as per the whatever were the customers expectation they have met the custom customer expectation and we are giving them the customized so idic let's revise it once again remember important important word it is important to write those words in the first comes i i mean who the customer is and gain deep understanding of them d differentiate between maximum value who is giving in present and maximum value who will give you in the future interact we need to interact with them for two purpose to understand what their expectation is and the next is to build relationship with them and the last point is the customize customize means when we are able to meet the <coughs> expectation of the customer okay that is the idic model thus this model suggests that the company should take four action in order to build a closer one to one relationship with the customer so according to don pepper he was of the view to have a deep relationship with the customer you need to follow a model which was the i d i c okay first we'll go to the third model and then we'll come back now what is the third model that is the pay and pros five process model okay iska shortcut kya hai i've written here s v i a i okay let's do this first point is what first point is s now S is what first of all we need to do what strategic development first. Okay, we need to make some strategy on the paper. So how are we going to attract the customer? How are we going to do the P R N? Whatever will be your strategic management process, you are supposed to add value towards it. Okay. i is multi integration multi integration there has to be a proper integration between the customer the supplier the owner the raw material the packaging team that is the multi purpose integration okay a means what assessment okay whatever work you are doing at the end we need to do a proper assessment that is the performance assessment and then comes is the i that is information management very very important because in CRM day there is a huge amount of information that is going to be shared. Okay, let's revise. First, S is the strategic development process. We are supposed to make a strategy. The strategy which we are supposed to make it should be how it should be V. It should be adding value. Okay. Then comes is what? Then comes is the I that has to be a proper integration between all the points. A you need to assess what you are doing. I you need to have a very good information. System. like you need to have a very good information management system very very important so these were the five points denoted but then what the first two core processes will represent what strategic pr first two means snv that is the strategic development and value creation ye kiska part ho jayega strategic crm ka part ho jayega operational crm kaun sa ho jayega operational crm where we are linking it matlab i that is the multi channel integration and jo mera last point tha that was the information management process that will represent the analytical crm so jo hamare types of crm the uski answer ko inhone kya kiya hai isme split kiya hai where they have defined what where they have defined that the first two will become what strategic crm integration will become operational crm and the last point okay the last point that is the information management will become what it will become the analytical crm does this method covers up all the three aspects of the er okay okay so yahan pe inhone pehle humko five processes bataye that is strategic development value creation multi channel integration 
assessment of what you're doing and then comes with the I with the information management and then these five points were divided into what what are the different types of uh, CRM so that is the strategic CRM the analytical CRM and then comes with the operational CRM okay so next stop next we're going to do one diagram and then I will read that is the CRM value chain what is this that is the CRM value chain defined into two parts this part is the primary stage like you need to start with this and then come with the helping condition the supporting condition okay obviously in CRM the primary stage will be related to what it is going to be related to customer so the first point is what customer portfolio analysis that is what first of all go and identify your customer that is the customer portfolio analysis who your customer is, what does your customer need, he needs in small quantity packages, he needs big amount of packages, he need bulk purchase, what quality does he need. Then have a proper customer intimacy that is having a proper interaction with the customer. Why to have a proper interaction with the customer is to build a network with them so that we can involve them in pre-sales activities, sales activities, post-sales activities. Okay, like Amway, like Oriflame. The customers themselves are selling the product. Okay, that is what having a very good network development. Okay, like in Amway, like in Oriflame, like in Avon. Okay, here what they do? They, I will sell the product. Then I will tell my friend that you sell the product. And like this, I will go on making. There will be one. They will be having two agents. Two agents will having four agents. Four will have six agents. That is what? That is the network development. Okay, what is network development? It have is building the network with the customer. The network development should be such that it gives value. That is the value preposition development. And when we will give value, there is a possibility that the time that the customer is purchasing our product will be more. That is the life cycle of the customer with us will be more. Life cycle means we are purchasing our product for one year. Like Maggie, we are purchasing for last 20 years. Then the life cycle of the customer is what? 20 years. So that is what? That is manage the customer's life. So these are the primary activities that is identifying the portfolio, having a good intimacy with them, developing the network with them, having a proper value development and last one is maintaining the life. But for maintaining all these things, we need few supporting things in a company. We should have a good leadership. We should have a good data of the people. Okay, so we data store karenge in IT. What does the market need? What is market segmentation? How many customers are there? How many customers are ready to purchase a custom product, etc. For managing this, there are always going to be people and always there are going to be certain processes. That is, there are going to be certain steps. The first step is this, the second process is this, the third is this, so that the company can be streamlined properly. So this will be what? This will be the supporting activity with the customer, which helps us to gain what? Which helps us to gain. Profitable. There has to be good culture in the in a good culture in the company. There has to be good leadership. There has to be good information technology that is storing the data. For this information technology, we need good people. We need good resources to handle it. And there, for these resources, there will be some kind of what? There will be some kind of. Thus, the CRM model was introduced by the Francis Button. Okay, the model constitutes five primary stages, and there are four supporting conditions. And it is important to know the heading. The primary and the supporting condition leads a company towards enhanced customer profitability. Whenever we are doing both the activities properly, it will always create some value creation and the company will be in what profitable. That is the main purpose. Okay. What is the main purpose? It is the main purpose is customer profitability. So we will write that there are five primary stages. List down the five stages. There are four supporting stages, list down the stages and then write if all these activities are being, uh, if all the activities are being done properly, it will create what? It will create customer. So we have done three models. One is the IDIC. Let's try to remember this in form. I was identified, B was differentiate, interact with them and give them the customer service. CRM model is 5 plus. And then comes with the C, that is the five process model that was the CDR, that is S, D, I, A, I. And again, it was subdivided into three types of the CRM, that is the strategic CRM, that is the operational CRM, and then comes with the analytical CRM. 
and then comes is the last part of the CRM and then we are done. That is the Gartner competency model. Okay, it's a little big model. Just defining this table. Okay, let's start. Okay, it's similar to what we do in first of all, we do what we set our vision. Like till 2025, I must earn 10 lakh pack for it. This is my vision. But then for that vision, I made a strategy that I have to study here. Okay, so first we set vision. Ideally, what we want after 10 years, what we want after 5 years. Uh, as per that, what we are going to make do. Now, as per the vision set, we are going to make a factor. Okay, now because we are concerned with CRM. Okay, now the detail part will be what? All focus to customer. That we must know what customer expectation is, what competition is, understanding the requirement, understanding the value, everything related to the customer. How we can give value to the customer house. Now decide Karnia, how we can give value. They need a healthy product. They need product with 20 rupees in the price. They need product in different different flavors. For example, for example, we are talking about Maggi. Earlier Maggi used to come in just one flavor. But then they understood that no, customers nowadays need variety. So they came up with what? They need variety. They also need Maggi masala separate. So then we are supposed to make a process. What will be the step? How we are going to move forward? And CRM hai, we need IT, that is information technology. And for measuring this information technology, there will be certain metrics. We will measure it in the form of profits, we will measure it in the form of cost, we will measure it in the form of customer satisfaction. Okay. Metrics means how we are going to measure our CRM. Okay, very simple answer. Okay. The first is setting a vision, very important. First point is what? First of all, set a vision. Second is setting a strategy. Okay. I'm as of now skipping third and fourth point. I'll come. Third and fourth point will be detailed. What does the customer need and what does the company have? Okay. The third point is what? What does a customer need? And fourth point is how an organization is working towards it. How, what is the culture of the company? How are we communicating with the employees? How is the company working? Once the customer expectation, that is the third point, and how organization is working is settled, then we are going to make a proper process. This process will be linked to a proper flow of information with the help of the technology. And then the last point comes is how are we going to measure with the help of these certain metrics. Now, how does an organization collaborate? What is the culture of the company? Are, is it an open culture? Is it a strict culture? What is the structure of the company? How many bosses are there? How many? So this, this, this is known as what? Structure. Are the people skilled? Are the people competent? Is there a proper communication? Is there a proper supplier? Are there proper partners who are giving us the raw material? Okay. So if you see this third point is what does the customer need? How can we add value to the customer? What are the expectations of the customer? And on this other side, how is an organization working? Organization, the culture, organization, the structure, organization, the people, skills, competency, people, supplier, how are they interact? So thus, this is what, this is somewhat a comprehensive model that was being there. Taking into consideration the majority of the And thus, there are how many models? There are four models. And today, we are done with the concept of CRM. Okay, we complete the concept of CRM now. Okay, so let's move on to the other concept. Now we have studied what is O2C cycle, that is when the customer order and how we receive payment from the uh, customer. Then we learn that, okay, now we are having customers, but then we are supposed to manage the customer and therefore the concept came of what customer relationship management. But it is very important that whenever we are measuring the performance of the customer, we are supposed to check whether it's a profitable process or not. This is one of the basic patterns. End of the day, whenever we will check the financial performance of the company, we are supposed to not calculate number of customers. When we want to know the financial performance, we will be calculating what? We will be calculating the customer profitability. That is how much quantity of the product was sold and for what price we were able to sell. That is what was the revenue. 
minus the cost so that you get to know what so that you come to know about the net revenue created there has to be a positive impact on the market share what is positive impact on what but on profit ki bola on market share bola market share matlab agar hum pehle 20% market hold karte the now we are holding 22% that means what 2% increase is there that is there is a positive impact in the market the primary strategy is definitely to attract new customer that will it is that will have a positive impact on the market but the another perspective is to segregate the profitable customer from the other kind and focus all the efforts towards the customer so ideally they are telling that in terms of customer there are two kinds okay first concept is a market share concept that has to be positive market share concept means what earlier we were having 20% of the market share now we are having 22 it means we have attracted how many customer we have attracted more 2% of the customer that is this is a positive impact okay we have we have an addition of more 2% customer. and the second impact is but even though we are having 22% of the market share how much market share is profitable so in this competitive environment we are supposed to check whether we are having a positive cash flow from them or we are having a negative cash flow from them and therefore there are two concepts which we have to complete the first one is the customer profitability analysis model that is the cpa model and the second one which we are going to study is the strategically oriented that is the customer life and value model okay there are two models one is the cpa model and the other one is the cnpg model okay we'll start with the cpa let's just have a basic introduction cpa will have a tactical orientation while cnpg has a strategic orientation strategic matlab is top level management karta hai that is the strategy what is the strategy and tactical matlab ka day to day working wala day to day attacking wala how the company is working on day to day basis so they are telling cpa model is something which is related to day to day that is something which is related to the tactical and cntv is what cntv is something that is related to the strategic orientation okay let's start everyone okay first of all in cpa model what do we do just let's understand on first point here is that year we create segment on the basis of revenue and cost okay segments are created in for example india we sell the product to complete india we will make four segments that is a north segment east segment west segment south segment for example okay that is on the basis of geographical segment or we will make segment that is the rich class middle class lower that i am selling products with three selling prices one product goes to the rich class second goes to the middle class and the third goes to the lower middle class for example or we can also divide our complete india into two parts that is the household and the industry for example the soap requirement by household will be what 10 kg for example but the soap requirement by industrial sector will be what in one month 1000 kg the packaging will be for 1000 kg will be different for 10 kg will be different so they are telling the first thing which we are going to do here is we are going to create the segment then they are going to identify profits from this segment profit means how we will calculate the profit that is the revenue minus the cost all the segments that are profitable we will try to maximize it we will try to make the group business grow in that way. and the segments which are not profitable either we will eliminate those segments we will directly close it or we will not close it we might only reduce the segment so here in this first introductory paragraph here they have written that the segments are being made on the basis of revenue and cost we will calculate the revenue revenue and cost of each segment hum usko minus karenge that is revenue minus cost then we will calculate the profit so the second point is wherever the profit is there we will maximize those business and where the profit is not there it means it's a non profitable organization we will try to reduce the profit the segmentation of the customer is being done on the basis of the revenue generated and the cost as per this okay thus at the later stage one set of profitable and non profitable are identified definitely the profitable segment will be maximized and the non profitable segment we will try to reduce it or eliminate it. okay so let's study in detail first point is the customer segmentation the customer segmentation can be done in multiple ways okay try to understand it okay 
फर्स्ट वे टू डू अ कस्टमर सेगमेंटेशन इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डेमोग्राफिक सेगमेंट डेमोग्राफिक मतलब क्या होता है ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द पीपल पीपल मीन्स यंग पीपल ओल्ड पीपल बेबी प्रोडक्ट देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट फॉर बेबी प्रोडक्ट देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट फॉर दी ओल्ड और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दी मेल फीमेल और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दी एज तो डेमोग्राफिक मतलब क्या होता है ना डेमोग्राफिक मतलब एनीथिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू अ पर्सन जैसे कि व्हाट बेस्ड ऑन इधर द जोग्राफिक लोकेशन ऑफ द कस्टमर ये तो ठीक है और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एज सेक्स एंड द इनकम लेवल ऑफ द कस्टमर व्हाट इज इनकम लेवल बट सम पीपल हु आर हैविंग अ नॉर्मल इनकम फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव स्टार्टेड विद माय करियर जस्ट नाउ आई माइट परचेस अ शैम्पू सैश टू टू रुपीस का एवरी वीक दैट दैट इज माय अर्निंग But some people who are rich enough, who are who are earning since past ten years, they might directly purchase the one thousand rupees per bottle because they can. So it depends upon what your income level is before you choose any product. Okay. So the first point is the demographic segmentation, that is, it is based on the geography, or it is dependent on the people's age, sex, and the income. And then comes in the psychographic segment, that is, the psychological segment, that is, it is dependent upon the behavior. of the customer it is dependent upon the attitude of the customer or it is dependent upon the interest like i'll just tell you now the people who are in the who live in hostel area the, their attitude will be what one rupees ka shampoo sachet every sunday they will pay. that is that will be their attitude that will be their thing but the same if we compare to a area where there are large colonies where there are big big colonies big big bungalows there the shopkeeper will not be selling the sachet shampoo There he know if the people will come, they will directly purchase it for. But if we see in the area of hostel area, there will be always small packets of biscuits, small packets of shampoo. But if we see in any posh area or an area where there is a residential type, there will be sell. That is known as the psychological segmentation. Okay, here the products are being sold as per the cycle. Okay, now the second point is what? Now we have uh, uh, we have understood the revenue. Sorry, we have understood the segment. now the second point will be what understanding the revenue of each segment okay so the second point is revenue attributable to each segment we will go and we will complete the revenue attributable to each segment definitely this revenue will be what that cash discount bulk discount service we all will be adjusted to the revenue before considering the segment obviously we are going to consider the not the gross revenue here the revenue which will be considered will be the net revenue of the segment. now we know the revenue we have minus all the cost now next answer that will come that is calculation of the profit for each segment each segment ka matlab samajh mein aata hai each activity there will be separate activities and separate activities ka separate basis pe profit complete kiya jata for the purpose of calculation the profit obviously the cost cost needs to be apportioned to each segment and then for this purpose an activity based costing is used to calculate the cost of each segment cost for se rahenge all the direct cost as well as the indirect cost also okay kya likha hai all the direct cost which are related to the product and all the indirect cost indirect cost ka matlab hota hai jahan pe hum overhead ko allocate karte hai that is known as the indirect cost so three points okay okay pehla hai segmentation second is revenue third point is Now revenue minus cost, that is the point number three minus point number two. We will calculate the profit of the customer. Cool. Now the third step implies that the, we will complete. In this step, the customer's database is ranked on the basis of the profit. On the basis, we will be giving ranking one, ranking two, ranking three, ranking four. Here we will identify the less profitable customer or the customer which has disappointed the business, and then accordingly we will develop the strategy. what is your strategy going to be common sense that is elimination of the customer first of all it might be we might be eliminating few customers who are non profitable and we will be including inclusion of the customer though inclusion means what some of the customer will not be profitable now but we know they might be profitable in future or for example maggi okay maggi jab maggi ke upar case hua then achanak se kya hoga all the customers became non profitable because it started they stop purchasing the product sometimes the company will do what directly company will decide to eliminate the customer or sometimes the company can come up with a strategy of what turn around like nano nano failed but for example nano tried to make its technology good nano turned around and made a new product which all the customers loved it. 
or you can also call this what product is here. Okay, so on in this point, what it is written, let's go into detail. Let's have a detail of this point. Okay. Now we will go and develop this strategy. The first point is what elimination of the customer. All the non-profitable customers are value destroyed. Okay, they're destroying the value and therefore they need to be eliminated from the data. How we will eliminate them from the database? But so first of all, raising the price. We will raise the price of the product in such a way that that customer will not purchase our product anymore. Or we will make our product unsuitable. With that the customer is not ready to purchase our product. For example, I don't want to sell phone to middle class. I will keep the price of my mobile 90 cents. That the middle class people don't purchase my phone. So the first strategy which can be on the basis of profit is eliminating the customer. I don't want the customer in my database. For that, what I can do is making making the product unsuitable for that customer. All of the basic points are increasing the price. But sometimes what happens, even though your product is non Okay, even though your product is non-profitable, but you are trying that the by doing product re-engineering is one of the strategies to achieve turnaround. We are doing certain form of modification. We are changing the design of the product, and we want to relaunch the product, and we feel that this product can bring profit, or this product in future will be successful. So directly, we will not eliminate the customer; we will include the customer. Modification of the packaging or changes in the product design are other such strategy for the third part. Okay, and then the last point is review of the strategy. Review of the strategy means when when you decided to increase the price of your mobile from sixty thousand to ninety thousand, you thought the customers will not purchase. But we we'll go and check. Acha, aisa ho raha hai kya? Where we thought that when we will increase the price of the product by thirty rupees, ten percent there will be decrease in the customer base. But is this happening or not? We need to go and what we need to go and review and determine the impact on the customer profitability. Okay, this is the CPA approach. Okay, we will revise this CPA approach once again. Let's start. First point is identifying the customer. Customer can be identified in two ways. One is the demographic way, and the other one is the psychographic. Demographic is the geographical age, sex, and the income of the people. And then comes the psychography that is it is based upon the behavior of the person, the attitude of the person, determining the revenue. Revenue will be obviously net of all the this. Third point is calculation of the profits. So for the purpose of calculating profits, first of all you are supposed to calculate the cost. You have to calculate all the direct costs that are attributable to the product, as well as all the indirect costs which are uh, distributed to all the overhead, and then the profits will be computed. And then the fourth point is what we need to analyze the profit, which product is profitable, which product is non-profitable. And the products which are profitable, they are going to continue with that. But the products which are not profitable, there are two types of things which can be done for non-profitable customers. This answer of two points is not for profitable customers. Those who are having profitable, we continue the business as it is growing. But if it's a non-profitable business, there what we can do? There we can eliminate the customer by raising the prices or making the customer unsuitable with the product. Second can be inclusion of the customer. The inclusion of the customer here we might bring some product modification. We might come with some turnaround strategy. We might make our product advanced so that the customer like it. And the sixth point will be within the strategy that whatever we wanted to achieve, are we able to achieve the customer profitability or Okay. Now tomorrow for this we will consider one example. We will understand the example and then we will move on to the next. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll continue tomorrow. Thank you.